What's up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm uh, gonna do a, as I as I've updated on my Facebook page, hinted at it and then outright stated it. I'm doing a uh, playthrough of Mass Effect because it's been almost a year now since I played it as of this recording, and that's just too long without my Mass Effect fix. But since it's not a blind LP, I figured uh, I'm gonna put a little interesting spin on this. You know, just like, I, I like doing this lately where I put kind of a unique spin on my games. Like with my XCOM playthrough, I, I let people comment and tell me they want to be in the game and I'll have you as one of my soldiers. Well, this isn't quite as interactive, but um, since it's not blind, I still want to do something interesting with it. So I'm going to do an Iron Man playthrough. And for those of you who don't know what an Iron Man playthrough is, it means that when my character dies, if I die, it's over. The, the LP is done. I can't continue because my character is dead. That's the end of life. <laughs> so I have to, you know, you obviously have to play a lot more carefully and uh, think about what encounters you're going to carry through with and what you're just going to maybe avoid. Uh, now, I think this is going to be interesting because there are quite a few very challenging encounters in this game that I will be interested to see how I fare, especially since I've only ever played Mass Effect on my other profile. I've never played it on my profile that I made for this channel. So I don't get any bonus powers, I don't get to continue at a high level, nothing like that. I'm starting from scratch. I'm gonna do a, a uh, Iron Man playthrough. Um, and I'm thinking I'm gonna go as my favorite class, also one of the most challenging classes to play as, the Vanguard. Um, so let's, let's, uh, get going here. What's extras? Options. Well, first one thing, one thing first. Get out of here. <laughs> Options. Uh, I should have done this already. I know... Auto save, yes. Squad power, usage. Mm, uh, yeah, we'll just make that active. Target assist, target assist. Low. I think, yeah. Um, subtitles, yes, that's what I was coming here to. Auto level, no. Normal difficulty. Did that just... Ugh. <laughs> Active. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I'm not proclaiming to be some kind of super crazy expert. In my, I mean, I'm an expert at Mass Effect, but not necessarily at, like, playing the game. We'll, we'll have to see how that... Why did I just click on achievements? Why? Did, why? <laughs> Get out of here. Start a new Welcome career. to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Establishing secure connection. <laughs> Secure connection confirmed. I am custom mail. More like respawn. <laughs> am I right? <laughs> am I right? <laughs> that's <clears throat> that's not a joke. <clears throat> It's not a joke at Please all. Log in to access your profile. I actually remember when this, the first time I ever played the game, when this happened, I actually thought it was like a real thing. I was like, what? No! Don't corrupt my file! No! Then I realized, from my subsequent, like, 3,500 playthroughs of the game that, uh, it's, it's, it's part of the game. So, spacer, colonist, or earthborn? I'm usually a spacer, because I try to base it off of me. As you know, I usually play as myself in games, and I roleplay as myself. So, um, a spacer, for instance, uh, childhood was spent on ships and stations as my parents transferred from posting to posting, never staying in more than one location, or one location for more than a few years. So that that's like me because I my life's been the same. I, I always move. My parents weren't in the military, um, but my mom, my brother, my sister, and I all just kind of moved around a lot. We hardly ever stayed in the same place for too long. So 
I'm gonna be a spacer. Uh, I believe I was ruthless. So, soul survivor, trapped in an extreme survival situation, you have to overcome physical torments and psychological stress. It would have broken most people. I don't know if I'd be able to make it through something like that. War hero, you found yourself facing an overwhelming enemy force. Risk your own life to save your soldiers and defeat the enemy. I don't know if I'm smart enough to do that. So, ruthless really is. I've held fast one basic rule get the job done. Reputation for ruthless efficiency makes my fellow soldiers wary of me, but when failure is not an option, the military always comes to me first. Confirm military specialization. Um, I've had suggestions that I should do an adept because people think that the adept sucks for some reason. Well, I'm here to tell you the adept is actually the most OP class in the game. Like, by far. Uh, maybe not early game, but by end game, the nothing can even touch the adept like literally between if you especially if you become a bastion your advanced class between like biotically freezing people and your crazy ass barrier abilities and then your like singularities and stuff like there's nothing that can even touch you vanguard is a little bit more balanced it's also my favorite class to play has been since this first game came out um so that's what I'm going to do. Close range combat and biotics. And medium armor. Confirm facial identification. I don't want to look like your average Joe. Come on now. Mm. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. What's head? I don't think my neck's that thick. I'm not going to spend too much time in this, don't worry. I'm just going to quickly change some stuff. Profile reconstruction okay. complete. There I am. Shotgun in one hand. Biotic blue ball of doom death in the other hand. I'm ready. Okay. Identification confirmed. Didn't I already do this? Yeah, that's all good. It's like a giant alien gun. Well, what about Shepard? He's a spacer, lived aboard starships most of his life. Military service runs in the family. Both his parents were in the Navy. He got most of his unit killed on Torfin. He gets the job done, no matter what the cost. Damn right. That's the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. Anderson's always got my back. In the year 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient spacefaring civilization that did decades that followed these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies enabling travel to the furthest stars. The basis for this incredible technology was forced to control the very fabric of space and time. They called it the greatest discovery in human history. The civilization of the galaxy call it. Even though the term Mass Effect is never even referenced in any of the games. I have a die-cast model of this ship. Except the uh, Superus version, because it's cool. From uh, Mass Effect 2. Oh god, spoilers. Spoilers. I'm sorry. We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. Computers. I want to play video games, I hope. It's my job. My job is to play video games. You guys just keep the ship afloat. God. Get out of my way. Joker, make the jump now. Three, two, one. And slingshot! 
super fantastic. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500 K. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. <laughs> Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is he's the right. official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. Ah, he's also right. Yeah, they wouldn't send a specter just to keep watch over a ship. They don't send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting up. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's going to kill you, sir. Here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debrief. Tell him I, I love him. You get that, Commander? I'm on my way. Is it me or does the captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. Codex, Paragon. I'm a Paragon, apparently. I, why is it... Oh, because this is technically my first time ever playing the game, that's why. Alright, alright. Whoa! I get three points. When did I get to level one? I don't remember leveling up. So I have warp and throw, right off the bat. Biotic protection and pistol and shotgun damage. Definitely want one there. And I want shotguns, so we're gonna have to upgrade pistols as much as I can. So actually, you know what? Let's remove this one. Ah, can't just remove one at a time. Okay. Weapon damage and melee damage. I do love melee. Uh, I guess I can only put two into pistols, can't I? Okay. Well, Vanguard it is. Oh, I just on. You would think I'm new at this game, wouldn't you? Frick. Okay. Man, oh man. Man, oh mighty. Let's see, what do we get in the codex? Personal history. Born into a naval family, I spent my childhood on ships and stations. I moved from posting to posting as my parents were reassigned, and it was only natural I would follow in their footsteps by enlisting in the Alliance military when I came of age. After several years of service, I joined the campaign to rid the Skillian verge of Batarian slavers and other criminal elements. The final battle came when Alliance forces laid siege to Torfin, a slaver base built miles below the surface of a desolate moon. The superiority of the human fleet was wasted in the assault on the underground bunker, but I led a corps of elite ground troops into the heart of the enemy base. Nearly three quarters of my own squad perished in the vicious close quarters fighting. So like three people died, a cost I was willing to pay. Wait, three quarters of three people? Two and a half people died? I lost my legs! A cost I was willing to pay to make sure not a single slaver made it out of Torfin alive. That's assuming there's three people in my squad, including me. It, it, it's, a, it's a Mass Effect joke. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I'm an idiot. 2069, Armstrong outpost at Shackleton Crater becomes the first human settlement on Luna. That's our moon. It is formally founded on July 24th, the 100th anniversary of the first lunar landing. 2103, Lowell City and Aos Chasma becomes the first human settlement on Mars. 2137, so 35 years later, 34 years later, Eldfell Ashland Energy Corporation demonstrates helium-3 fuel extraction from the atmosphere of Saturn. 2142, five years later, construction of Gagarin Station, Jump Zero, begins beyond the orbit of Pluto.